going on? How are you all doing? It is Monarch Media doing some downtime with devs, playing more Wintermore Tactics Club. I've been waiting so much to do more of this. I just, there was a lot of stuff going on and I couldn't record it all and it was just, ah, oh, it killed me. I was waiting to do this. I'm Matt, by the way. I totally skipped that part. <coughs> oh, God. My nose is itchy as cr Itchy as creep. Alright, go to the club. What, what exactly am I doing? I'm trying to remember. Colin's play. What are we dealing with? Psychic team. Yeah. How many other less side quest? Okay, so what's our big plan? I've been thinking a lot about our strengths as a club. And also my voices are way off. I apologize, it's been... Well, a tactics club, right? But first of all, I think the most valuable thing we could do is clean up... Ah, damn. I think the most valuable thing we can do is come up with the strategies to maximize our tactically... Maximize our tacticality in combat. That's hard to say with this accent. Why? Sweet power moves? Oh, nice. Yes, sweet power moves. That sounds suspiciously like it might involve physical exercise. I'm with you, Alicia. I'm not into that. Not necessarily. I think we can work it all out on the CNC board. The CAC board. I gotta stop laughing at that. <laughs> Shit. Uh, <laughs> See, I found some special combat abilities in CNC that we can also apply to our snowball fights. Somehow. I call them tactics powers. Fire the laser. That's a old reference. I think I get it. You want us to treat our strategies on the snowball field like CNC abilities. We might not have magic in real life, but we've got tactic powers on tactics powers on our side, right? Exactly. Yeah, check this out. All right, you know, I want to I want to double check that we don't have any side quests that have to get done, but I am looking for. Uh, we did the the the. That's the incredibly intimidating student council president Septavia. She uh she looks busy. I shouldn't bother. She does look intimidating. As the royal dude. And he's a royal And him, yes. Apparently no side quest. Oh, also, today we reached a hundred subscribers! Oh my god! We have our custom URL! Share it to everyone! It's freaking YouTube slash Monarchy Media. How awesome is that? So excited! Anyway. Birth of Brilliance. Okay, when we last left our heroes, Anj Anjaya had just gotten back the amulet of Amara. And as soon as you touched it again, Anjaya, you are visited by a vision telling you to go to the Cave of Destiny, where your tactic powers where your tactics power will be revealed. Wow, that sounds like a pretty epic adventure. Will we have to cross the Whispering Mountains or the, the Tormented Swamp? Normally, but that's not the relevant part. We'll just say you walk to the cave without further incident. So what does getting tactic powers look like? We open a box and there's powers inside or? Far from it, you must spend a full week in deep meditation, communing with the magics of the cave. Oh, oh no bad guys invade the cave while we're doing that. Way to give the DM ideas, dude. That's exactly what happens. A scouting party from the army of Count Malfig Malgiferous has arrived at the cave. I really hope I'm sticking with the same accent and not accidentally like switching Irish and Scottish or something in my head. I know they're different. I know they're different. I'm just bad with accents. Or voices in general. I thought I was good at them for the longest time, and then, like, I met people who were really good. Imposter syndrome. Oh, 
Uh, but it's okay. See, Anjaya finished her meditation early due to her magical intellect. Everyone else is locked in meditation. Anjaya, it's up to you to protect the party with your new tactics power. Thumbs up. All right. It's a line attack. So it's pretty obvious what they want us to do. Oh. Oops. Okay, here it goes. I cast Brilliant Beam. Okay. All right. Woohoo! Well, damn! I dig it. I can dig it. That's from bad mother. Shut your mouth. I'm just talking about Anjaya's brilliant beam. We can dig it. That was a dumb joke. I cast brilliant beam again. Sorry, but tactic powers take a full round to recharge. I guess that makes sense. We'll need some time to recover after spending that extra effort. Absolutely. Wait, why can't she fight again? I don't remember. Whatever. But, uh, and mess these up. Shit. I really hope we get to uh, the girl that we sent to do detective stuff. I hope she becomes a party member and like the detective stuff actually and we did something. Yeah. Like, like, it determined what she was. I think that'd be really cool. Anyway. Mess them up again. Oh, he's gonna get an attack. I didn't think that through. Oh, well. Yeah, probably definitely didn't get a full par on this one. Par? Old film cow references. Yeah, no, I messed up. Oh, wait, no, I didn't. Wait. That was great. I could do anything like that brilliant beam. If I could, oh. If I could do anything like that brilliant beam in a snowball fight, we might have a chance of winning again. Hey, Colin, I know Alicia's better at tactics than I am, but I get a tactics power too. Definitely. And I'll get one too, of course. As soon as you're ready, I'll unveil them during the next battle. Well. It says as soon as we're ready, which makes me think there's another side quest, but good. we're just gonna hold on. Let's see if we have anything to Right, he doesn't have anything. Now call on chapter six. Sector six. No, sector two. Why is it so easy for children? Another reference without context! Huzzah! Just as you defeat the party, a rumbling- Oh wait, no, that's the wrong voice. Just as you defeat the party, a rumbling crash is heard from the northwest. Rubble scatters in front of you as an ogre mercenary barges through the wall of the cave. You have to fall back, however! Eowalt has finished learning his tactics power and can join in the fight. Oh, they're all meditating. Right, duh. That's why they couldn't. Alright, so... Every square within one pile. Target score. Days. Oh, is this like a stun? No, lose one movement, attack deals my- Okay, that's awesome. That's awesome. Not as good as Anjaya's. What about my tactics power? Oh, still meditating. Okay, my tactics power is called Stun Hammer Slam. It's a smash so powerful that it leaves the enemy dazed. So let's uh, give it a go. Hey! Jeez, those things are immense. Okay, on Jaya's turn. Does none of them want. Actually, hold up. Hey, you know what? I know this probably isn't what they wanted to do, but. Extra big damage on that. Hell. Oh, I did not think that through. 
Oh, and if I had just been patient and... Oh, ha, ha, I messed up. I messed up hard. All right, Rogi is finally awake and he can has gained knowledge of tactics power called Smoke Blight Bomb. A wide range smoke bomb. Oh, cool. Smoke bombs. That's easy enough for me to do in real life. All right. I'll show his darklings what happens when you mess with Rogue Spirit Trotsky Guavera. Guavera? Trotsky Guavera? Excuse me? Last episode, didn't I also talk about Jay Guevara? Whatever. Whatever, I'm just gonna go with it. Wow, Rogi's full name makes an appearance. You must be taking this really seriously. Heck yeah, Rogue Spirit Trotsky Guevara's gonna throw some smoke bombs now. Oh. Oh. Okay, three damage, pretty decent range. Attack deals minus one damage and smoke. Cool. All right, I'm down with it. Uh, they wanted me to be right there. Wait, wait, wait. Undo movement. Ha 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 ha. And first, I know it's not what they wanted, but let's nuke the crap out of them. Womp womp. Now, let's let Jay Guevara do his. What kind of smoke are we talking here? Ink bomb, ink bomb, salt and pepper bomb. You know, childish pranks. So I'm taking it to the man. Smoke that causes all characters within it to do less damage th when attacking. So let's say all of the above. Oh crap, that makes him do no damage though. Uh, I didn't know that applied to us. Oh no. I messed up. I messed up! Ah, uh, but it's okay. Probably one turn too many and one damage too many. Oh. Well, damn. Staggeringly super savvy. All right. I can dig it. Ah. Yes, see, now we're getting at it. We're getting it. Oh, and you defeated the Count's army. Good job, everyone. Oh, okay then, cool. Yeah. Now that we all have our tactics power, we should have a chance to beat those psychic detectives, right? Definitely. But I've got one last surprise to tip the odds in our favor. Is this when you reveal you really do have an ancient relic that gives us magic powers? Sure. Oh, uh, unfortunately, no. Great, now my surprise seems way less important. It's like when you guess what the present is, is before you open it, and now you, the person giving you the present clearly knows you're disappointed. Way to go, Alicia. But consider, how do superheroes without powers defeat their opponents? By being prepared. We may, we may have our new skills, we still need to figure out the most effective way to use them against our opponents. Thus, I propose we got their intel on the psychic detectives, then work out a plan for how we can use it. Spying. Nice. Got lots of distractions we can use for a quick getaway, so we're pretty safe. I don't know. Spying doesn't sound like a very heroic thing to do. It's not spying, it's scouting. Heroes have to thoroughly scout goblin forts and other combat encounters unless they want to end up dead. Yeah, oh, besides, they're psychic, right? Like, an unfair advantage. Yes, because they're truly psychic. Definitely. That's, mm-hmm, that's canon. They're not really psychic, Jacob. That's not a real thing. I mean, that's what the government wants you to think. But see for yourself, their leader's real spooky. She was part of MK Ultra. You know, the Russian thing that we tried to come. I forget what the MK Ultra was either. Yeah, no, that was Russia's psychic experiment, and I forget what America's was. But of course, neither of them worked. Once I set off a smoke bomb in the boys' bathroom, and she totally knew it was me. Jacob, you do that at least once a month. 
everyone knows it's you. Yo, and us. Okay, what? Oh. Right. Okay. Let's just start by finding out where they're hanging out. Right. All right. Cool. Yeah. If I walk in the proper. Mm, okay. That's not the game's fault. That is entirely me not like having control of my hand. Wait a minute. Have we been in here? What? Oh, an art room. Wait, I totally feel like we've been in here before. Oh, it's the, uh... Hey, Ned. Don't go get in a big head just because you beat us. The only way... The only ones who... who get to have big heads are kings and queens and stuff. Because they have... They have the hold... Up. Because they have to hold up the crown. Uh, you can seize the crown. Monarchy Media. It's our slogan. We don't get to use it all that often. It's just underneath our logo. Oh, side quest. Wait. Uh. Where are you? Come on. Uh. You can seems kind of stuck up and angry. I wouldn't know where to start with a prank. That boy in your club seems like he would know. The one slumming it with the sunglasses. Well, I've tried to store up practical jokes, or do you... Come on. I feel like I gave her a voice, and I don't remember what it is. Was it Southern? I tried to start up practical jokes for the union on campus, but when I signed up, put down hilarious fake identity. Ah. Uh, hey, what about, uh, rich dude number two? Oh, Alistair, I'm sorry that your club, uh... Ah, Alicia! Hey, you know it will for your victory in the snowball tournament. Dialectical conflict... Wait. Dialectical? Never seen that word. Conflict is how society must progress. History will prove that monarchists are the true victims. Plus, now that students are no longer allowed to have that uh, pamphlets, they've become much more popular. Ew. Well, I'm glad things kind of worked out. Ah, yes. Of All right. Uh, Colin? Oh, Colin had it. Well, hey, Alicia, can I give you back that book you loaned me? Just let me know when you want it. So, what do you think? I didn't finish it, actually. I appreciate you wanting it to me, but it was a much too sci-fi for a fantasy book. Huh? It's called Dragon Quest. It has dragons in it! I should have known. Pattern Master and Left Hand of Darkness were too weird. Elric of Mel Melnibone wasn't heroic enough. Oh, it seems like he can't be blue. To be fair, you never read that book I suggested. I really tried! It's just a little, um, detailed? Detail. Of course it is. It's the mythological primer for the most important fantasy book ever written. Decades of lore and world building went into it. That's what makes it great. That sounds like the Similarian. Se 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 semo semo Whatever, the pre Lord of the Rings, but actually post Lord of the Rings book. That was finished by Tolkien's son. Who just died recently. For like last month. That's Damn. Anyway. It's just. You know, there's all kinds of exciting stuff happening in fantasy, right? You don't have to just read a handful of books by the same guy over and over. Why well, mess with perfect stories? There's a reason why all other fantasy books are derived from the works of one author. Okay, he's talking about Tolkien. Did you all know that orcs didn't exist before Tolkien? Like, everything else has a mythological background, but orcs, because they're tainted elves, were 100% a Tolkien thing, and now they're everywhere in fantasy lore. Anyway. A lighthearted adventure, the ultimate hura quest, and a classic creation of myth. What more could you possibly want? Maybe more than two women across the entire set. 100% token. Ah. Uh, Alicia, that's why I wanted you to read this one. It's powerful, important goddess. There's a forest mother and giver of foods who makes things grow, and the gentle gods with the power to heal all hurts. Because for some reason the women are always the, the white mage.
All I'm trying to say is that it can be good to read things that are different. I think it could be worth it to step outside your comfort zone a little. You might learn about all sorts of magic and monsters and heroes you never thought were possible. If I read your book, would you give Left Hand of Darkness another shot? All right, if it means that much to you. Deal. Neobald's basic attacks cause enemies to deal. Oh, nice. That's awesome. Because they'll be right in front of him because he's taunting them. That's dope. Yep. All right. Nope. That's the one side quest. Just a lot of talking. Plus. Oh, there's the psychic detectives. Uh, I remember I had to give them a voice and just. Let's see, I forgot the other one. Like detectives, dating club, equestrian. I I doubt we're fighting the knitting club. That just doesn't seem right. Oh, this is bracket three. Okay, so we're not closing in on the end already. I was really worried about that. That means like this is just like bracket, 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 and then they all culminate into one bracket here. Yeah, okay. I feel better about that. All right, we're going to spy on them and then, then end the episode. Shh, that M. <laughs> hmm. I want to see if I can try doing, like, that that, that Johnny Pocket, uh, uh, Holmesy sort of, uh, 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 the British urchin boy. You, you, you. I, it, it looks like it's a girl, but in the name, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, critical. We are breaking. Wait, nope. We are breaking new evidence in the case of Spotted Owl. Turns out the seats of the baseball equipment were found in Mr. Dor Doran's trash can. Handle. Wait, what? Oh, Handle discovered them. Uh, yeah, I, I thought maybe trash cans are good places to find evidence that I gotta get rid of. Don't sell yourself short. You found it because your great psychic instincts led you to that spot. Remember your mantra. Recite it to protect against evil and failure. Aww. Um, sure. I am a good psychic and my powers are really strong. Hmm. Exactly. Um. Excellent. Now all that remains to close the case is to have the twin watch the bird feeders for abnormally large. Roger. Now to the next case. A case of psychic detectives totally thrashing the pants off that weird tactics. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm getting too close to uh, the principal's voice. I, I'm, I'm, I'm getting a little too <gasps> raspy with it. Indeed. Let us focus our energies in meditating on sensing the club's weakness. Focus your mind on the tactics club. I think I sensed that. Oh crap! Scatter! Everyone, meet back at the club room. Not incomplete. Scatter the psychic detectives. When it's time to battle them, you'll get a bonus for knowing their. Ooh, edgy. Well, alright then. Now we've got a edge on psychics. Side quest. No. All right. Cool, 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 cool. So next time we'll be taking on them psychic detective. Hope to see you there, everybody. Uh, hope you're all handling everything. Uh, uh, you know, we're all stuck inside. If you're watching this, once all that's over, uh, I hope you all, uh, you know, have toilet paper now because I know that's a big thing. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, yeah, keep up with us over on all of our social media. If you want to watch more, obviously, Tuesdays, Thursdays, we upload to YouTube. Uh, but Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays at 3 p.m. Central Time, all the way to 5.30 p.m. Central Time, we have Twitch streams at twitch.tv slash monarchymedias. Check those out. Anyway, I'm Matt. This has been Downtime with Daz, playing some more Winter More tactics. See you all next time. Bye.